Hello everybody and welcome to the Rock and Reaction Rollers where we react to music that we grew up with from the 60s to the 90s and my name is Tammy. It's Tuesday night so we're going to do Tammy's Twofers uh, but before we do that I'm going to say a couple things first. Um, Carson, you're the winner of the most views for the week with 90 few, 95 views for the song Say It Isn't So by The Outfield. So if you can shoot me a comment um, and let me know what you want me to play. I'll play it Friday night. And um, also, I haven't had time to get back to anybody's comments, and I'm sorry about that. I read them all today, but I didn't have time to answer them because, like I said before, if I answer one, I feel like i got to answer them all, and I didn't have time to do that. So I'm trying to catch up on comments tomorrow night, but just so you guys know, I've read your comments out there. Um, so anyway, we're just going to get right to it tonight, and this is going to kind of be um, a different kind of Tammy's twofer. Um, actually, one of the songs is going to be a request for me, and the other one is going to be um, a request for Mary Jo, because the other night, her request for winning the most views got blocked. So, um, she wanted to hear Prince, um, the song Kiss, and I knew that wasn't, I figured it probably wasn't going to go through. So, we've got a different song that we're going to play for Mary Jo, and I'm going to, that's going to be the twofer. And so, the twofer is really going to kind of be that they're both songs that um, we're in the 70s so we're just going to call it that for the evening something simple and easy um, but <laughs> the first song the one that we're going to do um, that that I'm doing the request for is a song that I've it just comes to my mind every now and then and it has for a good while and I can get bits and pieces of the song but I had no idea what the song was titled or who the singer of the song was and I have this friend that I was talking about last night that sends me videos every now and then. And um, one of them we played last night for the Cars uh, for Benjamin Orr's birthday. And then this is the other one. And I'm like, this is the song I've been trying to figure out all this time. And what it was, was I had the wrong words to it. I thought it said, ride, ride, ride. But it's actually run, run, run. And we're going to go back to 1972. We're going to play the song Run, Run, Run by Jojo Gunn. So, hope you all, hope you all enjoy. Um, hopefully, everybody remembers this song. It's an old one, and it never gets played on the radio. I know that. stop this song because it's actually not a very long song. Um, I love it, love it, love it. And this is the song that I've been trying to figure out all this time. So now I know what it is and I've been playing it and couldn't wait to play it tonight. And there's just something about, I love my 60s music or the later part of 60s, but there's something about 1972 and the music that was out that year is one of the best in rock and roll, in my opinion. And this song is 1972, Run, Run, Run by Jojo Gunn. And so we're just going to get right back to it. Welcome to the party, we're all just a 
just straight up rock and roll to me <laughs> that's just my kind of music right there and I loved it loved it loved it and so thanks my friend for sending me these random videos because uh, sometimes this happens I get a song in my mind like this one like I said I didn't know the title so and I sure as heck didn't know who Jojo Gunn was so we're gonna read a little bit about Jojo Gunn and how they got their name and all that a Jojo Gunn was an American rock band formed in Los Angeles, California in 1971 by Jay Ferguson, and yeah, we've all heard of him, and Mark Andes after they had left the rock band Spirit. The band was named after the Chuck Berry song called Jojo Gunn. I think I'm saying Gunn right. It's G-U-N-N-E. <clears throat> I don't know. Anyway, the band released their eponymous debut album in 1972 and had a top hit song, this one, Run Run Run, in the UK. They released three further albums before disbanding in 1974. They reunited in 2005 for a time to record a fifth album called Big Chain. Okay, and then it says, After the band broke up, Ferguson recorded several solo albums which yielded the hit singles Thunder Island and Shakedown Cruise. I think we have Thunder Island on the channel. I don't know if we've got the other one, but he then scored some TV shows and several movies. Mark Andis joined the group Firefall and then Heart. Smith went on to have a career as a session drummer and played with Spirit in the 1980s and then Boston from 1994 to the year 2000. So anyway, great little band. I went out and tried to check out um, some of their other songs, and I didn't know any of them, but I do remember this one. I remember when it was a hit. I loved it then, and <laughs> uh, love it now. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. I've been waiting all week. I wanted to play it the, the day they sent it to me, but uh, I thought, no, you'll hold off for Tammy's twofer, so I made it. <laughs> Again, congratulations to Carson for being the winner of the most views. So, Carson, you want to shoot me a comment and give me your request. We'll try to get it on here Friday night for you. So, anyway, come back for the next video. Again, the twofer is um, two songs from the 70s, but the actual second song is going to be a request for Mary Jo because we couldn't play hers the other night. So, be sure to subscribe to the channel if you like it. Be sure to hit like underneath it. And be sure to tell those people that you love that you love them each and every day. And peace out. <laughs>